Hey guys and welcome back to Star Wars The Force Unleashed. We're still in the Jedi Temple trying to find out more about Starkiller's past. And now we're in this chamber with all kinds of weird droids. Which is really not good since they're pretty damn annoying. But you don't want to be attacking these droids. You only want to get them out of your way. Because if you kill them, they just keep respawning. So you'll have to focus on their spawn points first, which are all these statues. So you can just like wipe out. And if you electrocute that thing, it creates a barrier that can lock some of the droids out. Which is pretty sweet. But you really have to focus on the statues first. And if this annoying ass droid would just stop hitting me. There's two different kinds. They, you have the ones that teleport and shoot lightning. And then there's the ones that use lightsabers. But really this isn't all that difficult since they're not that strong. I think I destroyed all of the upper ones. Now just this one. And let's see. I think I just have to kill them off now. Oh wait, they all die automatically when you destroy all the spawn points. Sweet. So now we have to make our way to the central chasm, which is right here. In this giant hole in the Jedi Temple that somehow was never seen in the movies. Or any of the video games for that matter. There we go, bridge is in place, and now we can go back. So we're gonna have to jump that gap once we get back there. And the floor opens up and reveals a couple of those buzzsaw droids. Wonder what the hell they were doing down there locked underneath the floor. But that's a question for another day. So let's lift this door so we can move on. Because these doors are annoying. They drop real fast so we have to lift them all the way up to the top. Oh crap, jump troopers. This is going to be risky. Okay, we got it. So now we head into the mysterious glowy part. And loading. That's one bad thing about this game. Like everything you do and it takes freaking forever to load. I mean even the menu screens. So here we are in this dark gloomy place. Which apparently is the Jedi library. And it's filled with rubble. Because Anakin and the 501st really made a mess of the place when they got here in episode 3 and there's this shiny cube cubic thingy which might be the holocron that we're looking for so let's initiate it gasp my son Vader was right about one thing you now control your own destiny the dark side is strong in you but you can still be saved the blood of a true Jedi, my blood, flows through you. But you must face the Jedi Trials. Look within yourself. You will know what to do. Yes, because the answer for questionable heroes like Starkiller is always to, to look within. And they have a... The designers came up with a really nifty force grip puzzle here. You have to move the blue orb along the line but not you have to make sure that it doesn't get off the line or otherwise it'll jump right back to the start and I got quite lucky there snap phew I was close okay what's next okay this one uh, appears tricky and there's a part in the middle that vanishes 
So I don't think this is gonna be very fun. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. I'm so pro with this. Oh no, 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 no. Damn it. Okay, let's try again. It's just like one of those games you play at the local state fair with the elect the, the metal ring and the electric wire or something and you have to move it all around the curved wire and don't let the beeper go off. Okay, we made it. And now we get to the much easier part. You just have to use the force grip to m move these floating platforms around so you can get to the other side, which is pretty damn easy. But they slowly sink once you place them, so you'd better be quick about it. And here's the checkpoint already. Yeah, this is really pretty damn easy. Much easier than these. Uh, I spoke too soon, apparently. Don't place those things too high, or you won't be able to reach them. So, uh, yeah, that one appears good. That'll... Whoa, snap. Uh, that's gonna be... Oh, no, there's another one. It's gonna be one hell of a jump. Dash. Yeah, this is easy. And this is the last one. So we're almost done with the Jedi Trials. So apparently if you want to be a Jedi, all you have to do is move some platforms around and jump around, jump on them. So yeah, pretty much everyone could be a Jedi. If only you believe. And there's an ominous figure appearing behind us. Kinda looks like Darth Vader, except different. So apparently all Jedi must defeat a Sith warrior before they can complete their trials. And let me tell you, this guy is no joke. It's one of the hardest bosses in the... Well, actually not in the game, since he's DLC. But when he dresses himself like a Jedi, you shouldn't attack him because it'll drain your own health and restore his. Which is really bad. That's one of the reasons why he's so hard. And that giant force wave attack. Ooh, force lock. Come on, push back. There we go. Got some damage on him and he fell off. That doesn't matter because he'll just spawn right back in the middle. And then I'll usually do a mind trick which messes up the control scheme. Yes, he actually has one of those moves. Which is annoying as hell. Like jump becomes lightning and lightning becomes push and push becomes attacking with your lightsaber and crap like that. It messes up the whole control scheme. And if you just please stop blocking everything I'm throwing at him. Oh crap, force wave again. I wish you could block that. I mean, the Sith Warrior blocks all of my moves without much effort. But you can get some hits in when he's charging his force repulse. Bloody mind trick again. Oh crap, put him down. No, don't throw him, asshole. I hate mind trick. But the good thing is you can actually use Mind Trick yourself in Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2. Ooh, that's a close force lock. There we go. And he fell off again. Oh, sweet, we already beat this phase. And we knock his helmet off. No! It's Starkiller himself. What is the meaning of this? This is some psychological shit we're in. We're facing our evil self. Now oh, this phase is easy as hell. Like he throws those chunks, those pillars at you. You have to destroy them or they'll wreck part of the arena. Which makes you fall through. That's not good. So pretty much you grip the pillars and throw them at him or each other. And then I'll get over here and do a little repulse to try and knock you into the abyss. 
And rinse repeat until he's dead. See, you just grab him. Whoa, snap. But if you fall back, you respawn as well, so it's no biggie. Now get over here. There we go, three in one shot. Now just duh crap. If he's weak enough, we'll blow up the floor and you'll end up on this final section here. Which is the final fighting arena. And he actually becomes pretty damn easy here. Come on. What the hell was that supposed to do? Okay, he's dead already. Quick time event. No, 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 no! Ooh, that's gotta hurt. And of course he can teleport. Because all evil figments of the imagination can do that. But we can wall jump from pillar to pillar. And then he's gonna get it. And stab him in the back. There we go. We Ouch. That's painful. And he does the little force explosion like Gaz and Paratus and Shock T. And then we're back to reality. Ouch. So that's all for this part. You can never escape me. Are you there? Did you find what you were looking for? <laughs> Whatever was here. It's gone now. There's nothing left.